A party foul worth $42,000, that's casual. Let's take a look at this video of a man who broke something very expensive at the club. Like puts his hands. He's like, Why oh, was no. he holding it like that? I don't know. It's a big bottle yeah, of champagne. Clearly, you hold it between your legs, <laughs> like this, and like you try to pop it so like your thighs can hold on to it. It's a huge bottle. So this took place. Uh, this took place in uh, Ibiza. Ibiza. I, Ibiza. In Barcelona. Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, he made this purchase. We're not sure what he was overcompensating for with that huge bottle of champagne to a small crowd. Like yeah. it wasn't like a group of people around with like champagne glasses yeah. ready to There's go. too much champagne for that amount of people. Yeah, I don't know what was exactly going on, but yeah, that's worth an estimated uh, $42,000. Some people are saying even a little bit upwards. I don't know okay. what the specific brand was, but Whoa, what a mistake. You would hope that if you're paying that much for a bottle of champagne, like the bottle is much sturdier than that. Because I, I oh you're blaming no, it on the bottle yeah, kind of because I've dropped bottles before from like a higher distance than that and like they miraculously like they stay. Where have you dropped these bottles? What are you doing? It's where, just like, like in the alley behind. Yeah, the like where are you one Late popping night, bottles? I'm just like tossing bottles in the trash. <laughs> I've literally never seen you touch a bottle of champagne before. Okay, that doesn't mean I've never <laughs> like dropped one. It doesn't have to be a champagne bottle. Like you've never dropped glass and like it you doesn't just, break and you're just like, wow. You can just say How like, did that not break? That should have broke. Yeah. We caught you in a lie. That's yeah. okay. <laughs> but like let me also take another gander that if this guy is getting a $42,000 bottle of champagne, like it's just a drop in the bucket for him. Oh, yeah. I don't think anyone saves up their money to go to Ibiza. I I feel so weird when I say that. And and like to to buy a $42,000 bottle of Champagne. You would hope not, but yeah. we don't really know much more about it's this. Those, it's those what rich he European did? people, you know. Yeah, I mean, you really, I mean, you really do hope that this isn't like his savings, and he was like, "I'm really going to impress the ladies tonight." No, with this, this is nothing for with him. my huge bottle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It tastes the same from a small bottle. I think that like, <laughs> what I would say is like, my advice to this you guy You don't be, know if it tastes the same as a small bottle, actually. That's fair, because I've never I've never opened that big of a bottle of I champagne. I think when you have that much liquid together, the taste is actually superior. Okay, we need to know in the comment section below if that is a totally bullshit no, thing that it's not. Said. It's not, it's more pure, it's closer to the you source. Are, you don't know this. Yes, when there's less, You're just when, there's less when there's less in a smaller bottle, <laughs> It's gonna become impured by, by the glass. Yes, oh, because the glass. yeah, because there's less liquid. But when there's more, it's more of just pure champagne. You 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 are such a snake oil salesman what right are you now. Talking You're probably about? the guy that fucking sold I'm him this bottle, which is like you really want the big boy. Yeah. You really want the big boy bottle because yeah. the it's more. Pure. It's terrible salesmanship right there. <laughs> telling someone big boy bottle. Like no one's gonna buy that shit. Um, what I was gonna say is my advice to this guy would be like, listen, get a smaller bottle of champagne. Get one of the really cute wrong, tiny ones. Listen, one of the really cute tiny ones, pop it privately, go up to one girl that you think could have a really you could have a really special mm -hmm. time with and say, hey, there's just enough for us to let's go into a corner. Why, why have does a drink. everything have to be like romantic for you? Like what he's in, like he's like at a club. Because I'm a person that enjoys love. I yeah. wish you could experience that. No, this this guy is not like that. You don't. We're, and this by the way, is, you, we're you know so nothing of mixology and chemistry like I do. Getting a small bottle that would be an insult. Anyone like you? Oh, because they the would glass would it just out of dilute it. Yeah. The glass would just fuck it yeah, up. It yeah, it would. It would be terrible. Okay, so now I want to segue this conversation of Amir just lying about what he knows about champagne. Wrong. I did a lot of research on this story. <laughs> our, our biggest party fouls, and I, I think it's I've n safe to say that I and I hope not you have ever like made a party. <laughs> Foul that grossed forty two thousand dollars at a club because I would still be like working at that bar to pay it off. But I have I have uh, been I, I've really I've more covered up other people's party fouls because it's been a while since I drank. Uh, but although when I did drink, I would you know whenever you like break a glass, you're just like move away, like you just move away from the area. But you know like that's not a big deal. The one thing that I do that I that I feel like I really covered up quite well was one time uh, there were some girls from uh, the college that I went to that were visiting Los Angeles for part of a school program, and somehow they wound up at my house for a pregame. This was like 
three or four years back. And uh, they were all 21, but they were all very excited to go out in Hollywood because where they go to school in North Carolina, it's a smaller town, bars are a little bit more, it's just like not Hollywood bars, like not West Hollywood bars. So we go out and pretty quickly I realize that like they're turning up a lot harder than like this, you know, random pregame had expected. And so we're all just like, we're just going out to have a good time. And like there are four girls that are just like, wasted. Yeah. And I was like, all right, we're just going to probably get them in lifts home soon. Like this is a little embarrassing. And then as I bring them in, like it's me and like these four girls to be like, "Hey, how's everyone doing?" Like I think maybe you want to call like a lift soon. One of them's like, "No, no, 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 like we're cool." <laughs> and one just like bow, we're in the middle of the dance floor, just bows her head as though she's like praying and then just just she throws, throws everywhere. up everywhere. Yeah. Just throws up everywhere on the dance floor. Like and people are just like dancing and I'm just like, "Okay, cool." We're gonna just crab walk away from this area, and everyone stay in this huddle because I don't want to lose you. And you're all going home yeah. now. Like everyone's, and they're like, "But I feel fine." I'm like, "No, you don't." And we're all going home now. So we just like crab walked away, and then uh, you know we were waiting outside for the lifts, and then I, I heard the discovery when someone on the dance floor was like, "Oh my god!" Um, and I was like, "Everyone get in the mom. car, yeah. get in the car." It was my mom. That's <laughs> so that was like a party foul that I felt very embarrassed yeah. for. The one that comes to mind for me, this was like two years ago, and I get so embarrassed when I still think of it. I'm just glad that I don't really, really remember it happening. But I went out to the club with Haas. I, is it this? <laughs> yeah, and I got so drunk this night because I, like, I hadn't drank in a while. I hadn't like gone out in a while. You were excited. Yeah, so like I overcompensated. I was so drunk that apparently, like as we were leaving the club, we ran into DJ Carnage. And mm -hmm. I go up to him and I start yanking his chains. And Haas had to pick me up and like pull me away. I was like, yo, man, those are awesome <laughs> chains. And I just started yanking them and stuff. And don't touch my shoes. Yeah, and then I and then I got home and I didn't have my pants on. Haas drove me home. Oh yeah, fair. I didn't have pants off. Pants, I didn't have my pants on. <laughs> and I immediately went to my dog and like aggressively started petting her on the bed and she peed all over the bed. <laughs> Because she was so nervous. This, like, what drunken, were you? this drunken monster just came in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I that story cracks me up so much. There was one time that I walked home from the Abbey when I was drinking and I somehow took off my pants. On the walk home, because I was, because yeah. I live very, I, at this time, I live very close to the Abbey, which is a gay bar in West Hollywood. And so, in my drunk brain, I was like, I'm basically home. So yeah. I like, I took my pants off over my shoes, yeah. and so like, and I was like walking up the hill, being like, I'm just ready to get in my jammies. Yeah. Um, and that's not a weird thing to see in West Hollywood, which is probably why those girls went so crazy yeah. when I took them to the Abbey. Um, these were some of our party fouls, but we'd like to hear from you in the comment section below. What is a, an expensive party foul? if you ever had one. If anyone can top $42,000 breaking of champagne, let us know. Also, please someone call bullshit on all the mixology that Amir was spewing. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and we will see you next time on Pop Trigger.